In this episode of Cloud Performance Atlas, I help some streaming chefs avoid performance heartburn. Will we master the secret ingredient? Stay tuned to find out. Previously, we covered the various ways to profile and get visibility into the startup time for a Kubernetes pod, which is important since that's exactly where the Bacon Live team was running into a problem. Their startup performance was behaving like a piece of dried out kale. Because it's a food app? It's a pun. Anyhow, let's get to profiling. Bacon Live had ported their code from Compute Engine to Container Engine, and as such, all of their containers initialized in the parallel phase of the pod boot process. In fairness, they did have a single init container that was doing some, sorry, bald guy, we can't tell you about that work, but we'll ignore that for now. Applying the profiling process from before, we ended up getting the following data. Three of the containers were taking a significant amount of time to boot up. Most impacted were the public and admin endpoints, which was problematic, since those were crucial for the usage of their system. Looking at that code for the public endpoint, the reason for this problem became crystal clear. The initialization code for the public container was doing a quick call over to the stats container to make sure it was up and running before proceeding forward. The problem is that the URL fetch command is a blocking call. The result is that the public endpoint's init code was waiting around for the stats container to finish initializing before moving forward. Obviously, this was not ideal. Since it looked like we had a dependency on the stats container, our first attempt to solve this involved moving that container into the init phase so that the parallel containers didn't have to get caught in this weird race condition and could execute properly. But when we timed things again, we realized our mistake. The init phase got two to four seconds longer, which resulted in the entire system startup being worse off in general, since all the rest of the containers were delayed as well. This was obviously the wrong direction and made the whole boot time slower. At this point, the Bacon Live team decided to go back through and make some small changes to their code. Uh, the stats module was there to help do timings of startup related tasks, but since they now had visibility into those things outside of their code, thanks to the profiling harness we'd set up for them, they were happy to remove the dependencies for these endpoints. This allowed them to get the same timing information as before and move the stats container back to the parallel phase without the dependencies. The result was about two seconds improvement in availability time for their public endpoints. The, uh, the Bacon Live team realized a critical pattern for startup performance in Kubernetes. Avoid parallel init dependencies where possible. Thankfully, we were able to profile it, get visibility to the problem, and fix it before anybody noticed. If you'd like to learn more tips and tricks for making your cloud as fast as possible, make sure to check out the rest of the Cloud Performance Atlas content, because when it comes to performance, every millisecond counts.